Welcome back, everyone. Chances are you'll recognize our next guest. She's a former journalist and news anchor who spent many years covering local news here in Jacksonville. In 2014, she stepped away from the anchor desk to become more involved in the community that she loves so much. Fast forward a few years and she's truly in her element, giving back as the Director of Development for Angelwood, a not-for-profit organization that assists adults and children living with developmental disabilities. But that's only part of her story. We are pleased to welcome Tara williams Lagaman to the show. Welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> all right, so nice chat. I know. Tara. This is surreal for me because I watch you all the time. So to oh, be sitting here is... Smart it's girl crazy. to watch us. I do I'm love just to saying. watch you. It's good <laughs> to see you on camera. Thank again. you. It's kind of weird. I'm like, oh my gosh, where's my IFB? Where oh, yeah. that? So, oh. that's right. <laughs> then we'll, just, we'll just carry it from here. You just get to sit there and just yes. be cool. Perfect. All right, so then how did you get involved in Angelwood to where now you are the Director of Development. Director of Development for Angelwood. So when I moved back here from Chicago, I was really looking for a charity to get involved with. And I had heard about Angelwood and how amazing the staff is. And um, they kind of approached me and said, would you like to MC some events for us? And I did. And it kind of just started from there. I just fell in love with the residents that live at Angelwood. I fell in love with the staff that work there. And it's just an amazing organization. You can see we're actually celebrating our 25th years. fifth year in the, in the Jacksonville community. They do so much good work for people with developmental disabilities. Yes. What types of patients and clients do you work so with? So we're talking about um, people who are living with intellectual disabilities, spina bifida, autism, Down syndrome. Mm. So really across the board, we can help people who have family members with mm -hmm. those disabilities. And how many locations are here in Jacksonville? So we kind of have a broad span of things. So we have six group homes throughout the area, and we also have an adult day training facility that's right near Phillips Highway in 295. And that's where we have some of our residents that are living with us, they come stay for the day. We also have people who drop their loved ones off there with us for the day. It's an art-based facility, so I actually brought you all a little something today that they made for you. No way! Go yes. oh my God. So they Super make cute. earrings oh and note cards, God. so I've got all of you a pair of earrings so that are made. Sweet is this? So these are from our angels for all of you. And Ooh, speaking, of, so speaking of your oh, angels, tell us about those wonderful patients. I'm telling you, you know, some of my friends ask me, how do we get to volunteer? Because I'll post pictures on my Facebook page and they just see how much fun we're having. They are just truly amazing people. Yeah. If you ever feel like you're having a bad day, yeah. You spend 15 minutes yeah. with them, That's and right. you are just, mm -hmm. you're just so, mm -hmm. so amazed. That's right. Now, you're having a cleaning supplies drive? So, we always are. Can yeah. you imagine having six homes to take care of? No. So, we have <laughs> six group homes, so we always need toilet paper, paper towels, cleaning supplies. Mm -hmm. We also need volunteers. So, mm -hmm. if you have maybe teenagers who would like to volunteer yes, with I do. us. Yes, I do. They can get community service hours. We do that too. So the best way to do that is just send an email to mm -hmm. info at angelwoodjacks.org and we would love to mm -hmm. accept your help. Now Angelwood is actually funded by the state, it but, is, but you guys also depend on donations and fundraising to get the money and that is where the community come in. Now Jacksonville yes. is a huge giving community. It is. So do you find that it is kind of easy for it to happen? You know, this is um, this has been a tough job for me because I had never done development before, but I have to say that Jacksonville, yes, is a very giving mm -hmm. community, but mm -hmm. we're smaller, and a lot of people, when I say, oh, I work for Angelwood, they're like, what is that? Yeah. They but haven't just having you heard of out us. there talking about it is helping get the word out because right. you were on TV for a long time. And <laughs> so tell us about Two Anchor Productions because oh. it came from you being a news anchor. Well, it right? did, yes. Yeah. So I started my own production company. Actually, um, the idea kind of came to me while I was still working on air. And I just wanted to find a way. I've always loved sales. So I wanted to help local um, businesses be able to get their stories out, still be a storyteller, but just kind of in a different way. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of how that came about. Oh, and they're showing my old reporting uh, pictures. Oh, and that's from that Chicago. Is, yeah, that face is, I'm freezing. Uh -huh. I want to go back to Florida. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's Flashback Tuesday. Now, Angelwood actually is. has some pretty big events, community so events that's coming up. You need Jacksonville's help. We so do. tell us we about it. We need your help. So we have a golf tournament that's coming up on April 10th, and mm -hmm. that's at Jack's Golf and Country Club. Our big event of the year is our 25th anniversary gala. That's going to be held at the Sawgrass Marriott, August 26th. And then... Looking forward to 2018, we have a clay shoot that actually my husband, he helps to co-chair that with former sheriff and now congressman John Rutherford. Oh, yeah, yeah. Speaking so of your too. husband, because you know, <laughs> if you've been watching you in this town for a while, you are married to former Jaguar Jeff yes. Lagerman. 
any gorgeous six-year-old daughter, now stepmom to a 16-year-old boy. I hate this question because it makes us feel like women, you can't, you can't do everything at once. But you own your own company. Mm -hmm. You're doing all this amazing work for Angel Wood. Was there ever a time where you were like, why did I take on all of this? You know what? It's actually, it's kind of crazy. I feel like my life now is more calm than it was whenever I was in the news business. Even though I'm juggling a lot of things, it's, uh, it, it works mm -hmm. for me. Yeah, it, and I have a very supportive husband. He helps me. He helps me a lot. He seems like a sweet so, guy. Because yes. at the wedding, your husband Jeff also gave your daughter a ring. He did. So what, so was, what was the story behind there's that? There's actually a picture of him with the Congressman Rutherford right there. So this is my daughter, Taylor, and this is her cousin, Layton. This was at our wedding. There's my husband right there. But he really wanted to make Taylor um, feel very special, and he wanted to... Um, Gosh, he's tall. He wanted, He's tall. He's 6'7". <laughs> Oh, big guy. So at You're the so wedding beautiful. ceremony, he not only gave me a ring, but he gave Taylor a wedding ring as well. Aww. So she, she got her hands she on her hip, honey. She's I know. a diva. Going on 26. Oh, I love her. She wants to have the same haircut as me. Aww. It's really, she's such a sweet That's girl. That's adorable. I tell you a funny story on the way um, taking her to school this morning. I said, you know, I'm going to be on the chat today, and she goes. Oh my gosh, does that mean you're gonna have to put on a ton of makeup? <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! Yes, She's like, your skin is gonna be mad. Ooh, oh she knows. Oh That's a girl gonna take care of her skin. That's a smart girl. It's kind of right liberating there. not to have to do that yes, every day anymore, it is. isn't wow. it? Yeah. So once again, Great. before we wrap, for anyone that wants to get involved, and I don't know who would not want to get involved with Angel, you know Wood, what? It's tell us how and why. It's such a, an amazing organization and I have to say one of the reasons that Jeff and I also personally give to Angelwood mm -hmm. is because they are so fiscally responsible and that is so important when we see what's going on in you know other parts mm -hmm. of the country with other organizations and I'm not trying to knock anybody but we really do take mm -hmm. great pride in that and it's just Google us. Yeah. Go to our website. Take yeah. a look around. Research it. And isn't there a thrift store on Beach Boulevard for Angelwood? No, we. But we've been looking into doing something. Doing like that, that but again. No, but we. Yeah, we don't have a thrift store. Um, but there are so many ways that people can help us. The best thing to do is just go to our website. It's okay. angelwoodjacks.org, or you can personally email me, and I would love to get more people involved. And if you have paper products you want to donate, uh, cleaning products, all the Windex, please, all the Windex, all the Windex you want to yes. donate, <laughs> we'll take it. Exactly. Well, Tara, thank you so much for the work thank that you're you. doing and for Thanks spending some TV me. time with us today. We really appreciate it. Thanks, ladies. All right. And uh, don't forget to save these dates. The Angelwood Cl Golf Classic is coming up on Monday, April 10th, and the 25th anniversary gala happening later this summer on Saturday, August 26th. Still to come on the chat, adding a little spice to your wardrobe, we're taking a look at the new fashion line by Victoria Beckham, Mish Posh Spice herself. Stay with us.